Hello there, I am John Quo with my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team and in the last part we took on the Mount Blaze, the regular part of it, which was basically 14, 12 to 14 floors, I can't remember. And now we're going to take on the Mount Blaze Peak, which is only 3 floors. So whenever you're ready, you can just keep on going. And I should mention that the only two Pokemon I know, that I'm pretty sure only the only two Pokemon in the Peak, which is 3 floors, are um... Firo and Arcanine. Arcanine, watch out for like its Ember attack and its Roar. And then for Firo, watch out for Fury attack because that's very deadly. So hopefully I can just find the stairs rather quickly when going through this peak. That'd be really nice. No, I don't want to go that way actually. It connects. I can already tell. Yeah, see there's a Firo right there. I'm going to try to avoid it if I can. Oh no, not the Arcanine. Okay, let's see what move do I have. Yeah, I have bubble set. Okay, cool. There we go. There we go. We're taking, we're taking out Arcanines left to right, left from right. I hope the stairs are close to me. I really do. Oh my gosh, this is just, oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh, this is so nerve wracking. I don't, I meant to use bubble. Is it in this section right here? Does it just all connect? Yeah, it all connects really. Okay, as long as I'm running into Arcanines, not Furos. I can handle Arcanines, but Furos is just annoying. Oh my gosh, those Furos are gonna wake up if I don't be careful. I'm gonna just, uh, just gonna attack them really. No, I'm gonna tease Bubble again. Shoot. There we go, thanks Cody for taking that out. And with that, I have grown to level 19, which is awesome. Yeah, stats go up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And let's just take the stairs. Don't even bother with that fear. Okay. I'm gonna go up, I guess. Hopefully that's the right move. Yes, it is. Awesome. So we got through here unscathed at least. That's awesome. Let's proceed. Now when, you, when, you, when you've reached the third floor, it's another cutscene. Is this it? Is this Mount Blaze's summit? Wow, this is incredible. I know it's a volcano, but the lava flow is much higher than normal. This might also have a link to the natural, natu natural calamities. Oog, it's like a furnace. I'm getting roasted. I don't, I don't, I don't want to spend any more, any time in a place this dangerous. Let's go, let's get through this quick. Hold. Huh, what? I said it totally turned dark. I can hear the mountain's screams. And it is, it is in shrieking, it is shrieking in pain. Someone has caused my boys to wythe in agony. It is, is it you? I can't even pronounce that W word, right? Huh? You got it all wrong. It's not us. We just happen to be passing through here. Who are you anyway? Show yourself. Yeah, who are you? Go. The mountain's rage is my is is my rage. Oh look, who it is? It's Moltres. I'm Moltres, the warrior fire. I am. There is no forgiving those who befoul the mountain and God. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna use a bubble and hopefully it'll hit Moltres. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm gonna switch over to water gun because water gun's more powerful than bubble. So yeah. Yes, the water gun hit nice. We got this though. I would allow its attack, uh, Cody, that's awesome. We got this. Okay, maybe we don't got this, but... Oh, no, it missed. Ah! The ember, that fire spin, whatever it was, that uh, just knocked me out. There we go, we only use one revive receiver, which is nice. Ugh. I'm not done, I'm not finished yet. Wait, listen. We're not here to cause trouble. 
We're here only because we were chased here. You have you have to realize this mountain isn't the only place that's suffering. Natural calamities are occurring all over the place. We're fugitives. We're fugitives now, so we can't do anything. But we want to help others, Pokemon, that are suffering from these natural disasters. Did you say that sincerely? Did you say that sincerely? It's true. Please believe us. If you think I'm lying, look at my eyes. God. Ah. Fine. I trust that you aren't lying. Phew, that was scary. I felt like my knees turned into to jelly. You may pass. Get through Mount Blaze. And please promise me this. Promise me that you will find the cause of the calamities that wreck our world. And stop the disasters from sh sowing, sowing more destruction and suffering. Okay, I promise. Of course, that's not probably possible right now, but... God. <laughs> God. Well, we will. We'll get on it. We're being hunted, so we can't get it to, it to it right away. But we're a rescue team. We'll investigate what's behind the natural calamities. I promise. I will help you. I will hold you to that promise. You made me believe that you're, you will honor that promise. If you do not forget, if you do not forget the courage you showed in facing me. Ah, is, is there anything else? No, I was preparing to take off. Oh, does it need to be, does he, does it need to do that? <laughs> Farewell. And whatever is in the parentheses, they're just talking to themselves at that point. But like we in the parentheses anyway, I guess. It's kind of weird. Anyway, phew. Ew, that was scary. Ew, that was scary, huh? <laughs> but I'm glad Moltres understood that was key. Anyway, let's get off Mount Blaze ourselves. Okay. Nice. Pant, pant. We've sure walked a lot. I'm br I'm bushed. Let's rest up. Hmm, the view is fantastic. Oh look, Steven, look over there. See how small Mount Blaze looks from here? We we've come a really long way, haven't we? Steven, do you remember how hard it was to get across Mount Blaze? I don't think too many Pokemon can get through there. And th then we gave it its our all and got to get to get out here do you know what i'm saying i'm thinking we've come so far maybe there aren't any more pokemon that can get to us um i'm sorry but there is others there are others oh there's someone else well what do you mean oh i get it there's alkazam you're right alkazam's team should be able to get here yep we don't have a chance. We have to keep going. I'm scratching my head, by the way, if you hear any scratching noises. I think we need to go somewhere no one else can get to. What? Let's be positive and keep moving. That's the way to s say it, um, Cody. Huh? What's the matter? Aren't you coming, Steven? Huh? Am I tired? They're ch chasing us down. We can't afford to rest. That's true. And I told you already. I said I would go with you, Steven. Oh, come on. No need to get... No need for that long face. I'm fine. Let's go, Steven. I'll go wherever you go. Okay. Cool. If you notice, your partner leads, at that, leads in front of you in that, in that cutscene. And so, Steven's harrowing journey continued. Seeking refuge in even harsher places. They fled north. They crossed row upon rows of mountains. Forded, forded, fitted swamps, repeated swamps, I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Scaled frozen cliffs. Till finally Stephen's tiny team arrived in the world of snow. A frigid wasteland of driving blizzards. This game has a lot of good cutscenes and dialogue. So yeah, with that said, um, here's a nice saving point. So this has been Janko again. I was like, oh, this has been the end of my Pokemon Dungeon Red Rescue Team Walk the Guide part. And the next part will take on 
the snow, snowy area, as they're saying. So yeah, this one giant go again. I would like to miss you again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon walkthrough guide. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team walkthrough guide.